Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. Ignore the negative streak and the turn exact thing. I was testing some stuff out. It didn't really work out. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just jump on, randomize again, see who we might get. And we get Mastema. Okay, Mastema is a pretty fun one. Um, I, I, I like playing as this guy quite a lot. Let's see actually what we've got to do as him first though. Um, is it Mastema help? Yeah. Um, Mastema... Marks. Okay, we can go Isaac Blue Baby. Okay, we'll go Isaac Blue Baby. That's a that's a a good one for us to start off. I'll check this straight off the bat. I always forget this guy chart starts with triple shot as well. But yeah, jump right into it with the question of the day. I just want to do something Isaac related question of the day because I haven't in a while. What's something in Isaac modding that you think should be explored more? You think could be explored more? I know obviously people are doing a great job with modding already, uh, but yeah, I'm just wondering what people kind of think is like. Something that you feel maybe is not as explored as it could be, or just underutilized, or maybe just something that hasn't really been done before that you think would be really interesting to see. It'd be interesting to hear what kind of people's idea of um, some interesting modding avenues. Because I'm sure obviously there'll be some where there is a good reason they haven't been explored. Um, they might be just hard limits on what can and can't be done sort of thing. But it would also just be interesting to hear from you guys what you think would be something that'd be interesting to see explored a little more. And that's always fun. Especially considering, like I said, we haven't really done um, any Isaac related... This is a very weird room. Uh, we haven't done really any Isaac related um, question of the days for a little while, actually. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Isaac now is like... It's kind of weird. It, it's kind of like I, I was with Northern Line. It's become the same, as, same on my channel. Isaac has just become like the the background noise for for my jibber jabber it's not actually really the the core focus of anyone's viewing experience i don't think what the hell is this room um yeah it's not really the the core um the the core part of the experience for most people i mean it is good to have a good run going and like watch a fun run but at the same time i think a lot of people are just like hey i just want to put a video of a dude talking shit on for a while <laughs> And I will gladly provide said services. I love talking shit. It's the most fun. It's the most fun. I'm gonna try and get another charge for um for our pail. I'm gonna use it in this room as well. Because it can reveal secret rooms. The pail is an incredibly, incredibly good active item. Of course, it does have an eight room charge though, so it makes it a little hard to use every floor, a little pricey, but yeah, it is top tier. It is top tier. Have we not been to our item room yet? No, no, we, we have. We just got the pail. I'm like, why have we not got any broken hearts? But you don't get broken. Yeah, you don't get broken hearts for um, active items. That is quite a long fart right there. Ah. Darn tootin'. But we got some good stuff from here. Uh, the shop is certainly viable. When did we get all this money? What did we do to get all this money? I cannot remember. But we got a hell of a lot of it. This guy's a bit of a pain, isn't he? Bit of a nuisance. God damn, yeah, we have a lot. What? When did I get so much money? Okay. Magic skin in the shop? Is that... Is that normal? See, magic skin is actually... I know, that, I know that the pale is really good. But magic skin's a really interesting prospect, actually. Because this character is based on broken hearts, right? Or is that tainted Mastema that I'm thinking of? I don't remember. Either way, ballot, pretty good. Oh boy. Okay, no, this guy is the the broken heart one. Ah, so yeah, I got um, I got a broken heart for using magic skin, and then three broken hearts for picking up the item. I'm gonna say monster. Okay, that just didn't work at all. Um, ballot is broken apparently. Don't know when it broke, but it is broken. Gonna get a bomb in your face, you big disgrace. This has uh, been quite the intriguing setup that we've uh, started here. I, I I think that Magic Skin is going to be a bad decision. Um, I think that it's going to be a real bad decision. I, I don't think I want Little Delirium at that cost. I think at that cost, that's a little much. We can use Sanguine Bond and Sack Rooms to get rid of Broken Hearts, though. We do have options here. We do have options. And I will try to exhaust those options whenever possible. 
Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be going to these whenever I can. I'm a little regretful that I didn't manage to uh, walk into either of those chests in time, though. That's a bit of a pain on my behalf. The sun. Boom. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let's... Um, first of all, let's do this. That was not very useful. Um, let's buy this. The hermit... Is the hermit the one that sells everything? Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll save that for another time. Let's pop the sun. The sun. Might as well do the extra room here for the charges, especially with our uh, pocket active. Get some dip friends coming along. Very, very nice. Very, very good. None of them went headless, and an extra soul heart as well. So yeah, I am going to have to be a little bit cautious about using magic skin, I think. A little more cautious than I was expecting. I'll say that that was just silly of me. But, doesn't mean I won't use it. So... This adds two broken hats, boosts all runes and soul stones, much like tarot cloth. Eh, it's okay. Oh, uh, I've got to remember, magic skin takes away two soul hearts when we use it as well. Um, I always forget that. It's okay, but for two broken hearts, oh god. It's a quite it's a quite pricey ask considering it doesn't boost the amount of soul stones that you get. Which to be fair, I wouldn't expect it to. That'd be quite strong. But if I was getting it for just the magic skin cost, I'd be way more inclined to go for it than I am right now. Yeah, I have to say, magic skin was probably the worst choice we could make. <laughs> We're gonna have so many additional broken hearts and Every time we use it, we lose HP. It's going to be quite, um, quite the ruckus, I think. Now that is a must take. <laughs> we do have a lot of broken hearts now, but when do you get the opportunity to take Magic Mush? It's, it's such a rarity nowadays. It must be taken. But yeah, we're going to have a really, really hard time getting rid of these broken hearts, aren't we? Oh lord, we are. But, for right now at least, I have way more damage than I was expecting to have, and that makes me happy. Makes me very happy. That was semi-worth it. I have a lot of money. Yeah, that, that kind of worked out pretty well, actually. And the boss is going to get destroyed as well. Hopefully the shop can be... Yeah, this is... The ballot thing just isn't really working right now. Which is a shame because it's a really cool item. I have to say, I wouldn't call it quality 4 though. I get that some bosses are better to fight than others. But for the most part, I'd say it's like a, it's like a quality 2. It's good, but it's not insane. Okay, that's helpful. Probably shouldn't have taken both straight away. Probably a mistake. But, do that. Um, brimstone bombs, which for some reason has a tiny description too. Oh, this must be an update. So you can see two items descriptions at once. I like that. Uh, I don't think we want brimstone bombs right now. I went scorched earth with that bad boy there. Okay. I could now take brimstone bombs, I suppose. I'll take them. I'll take them. It's risky. I understand it's risky, but I think now it's put us in a decent position for next floor. We, we, get, a, we get a heart removed here anyways, as you just saw. Oh, I could have just hit the, the button at the end. There was no need to go for all the other buttons. But yeah, do not use magic skin right now. It will kill us. We have to have over two soul hearts. Otherwise, it will kill us. God damn the active items. Stop with this game. Stop with this. It's silly. It's just silly how many active items I'm getting. I have the mod on as well that reduces active items. It still happens. 
Let's fight the boss first. The, the bosses now should be... Okay. Oh, they did work. It did work this time. I changed to the frail. Oh, God. He did not jump. He did not jump where I expected him to at all. That was scary. Ooh. Marbles? I think marbles is pretty good. I'll take marbles. Does this work now? This 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 didn't work for a while. It doesn't work. Okay. F friendly dip on picking up coin is my kind of uh my kind of gambit. Let's go with that. But yeah, I don't really know how to feel about this. Dude. Bloody thing telefragged me. Yeah, we get a, a random friendly dip when we pick up a coin. It's very nice. We also do have a mini Isaac, but he's invisible. I'm not sure why. That has happened from time to time. The mini Isaacs mod can be a little buggy from time to time. We do have a mega chest here, which I wasn't expecting. I don't think we can quite open it yet, though. Three keys is, like, decent. Oh, that's a lot of dips. Is it just normal dips, or can we get other varieties? I think it's just normal dips. Oh, hello. That was a nice explosion for us there. can't believe those two just survived that. There you go. Brimstone bombs actually been pretty damn useful. Come on, shop. Another heckin' active item. This game. This is the art card. Spawns three random hearts. This could be good. Hey, yeah, we got a mini Isaac out of it. It's good enough. We've not really found a good use for a hermit card yet, but at the same time, like... I feel like one of the reasons we haven't found a good use for it yet is kind of because we have so much money. There's there's no really valid use for it yet. I guess we just wait until we've spent most of our money before we start bothering with it, really. There's a soul heart pickup. Good, good. We haven't found a secret room yet either here. Um, damn, I, need, I want more keys. I want to open up that mega chest. More bombs is also very nice. So we can pop this. And now I'm kind of more comfortable with popping magic skin again. Although, I will say, our um, broken hearts are a little out of hand right now. We're going to be getting to some rather dangerous territory if we're not careful. Full health. Oh, did that, that actually gave us... Okay. Actually gave us some hearts. Because it was a mega full health. I didn't realize it did that. Rather nice. So I'll try here. There you go. Oh, my lord. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Give me some good items. You know what? Sell you. <laughs> Get sold. You become dips now. To be fair, this confessional could be useful. It was not that useful. I took a gamble there. Went down to only one heart. It was not so kind to me. Anyways, let's keep going. I do need to be very careful now because my health is very low. But it was a strategic gamble. That is actually fantastic for us. Do not blow up that machine. I will cry. We have so much money, we should be able to get numerous soul hearts out of this. Why is this thing not doing hyper speed? Come on. Go, go, go. Apparently the way that it spawned caused an issue. Ooh, I um I gulped my uh my trinket. Nice. This trinket that I just got is also really good here. I honestly I know it's taking forever, but I'm gonna play this machine for quite a while here. More keys is great. Just because I want as many soul hearts as I can get. Oh, there you go. It's finally playing at full speed. Also, seeing if we can get better trinkets is also nice. A booster pack. Whatever that is. God, this machine. Sometimes it can be so cruel. Like, give me a soul heart. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty good trinket. 
Damn, that was not very good. Okay, um... We got ourselves a strength. Um, effect is doubled. 50% chance to duplicate a familiar. Do you know what? I'll just take that. That's really good. Hierophon. There you go. It kind of worked out in the end. Temperance. Whenever you buy um, every item the same thing will transform into a fallen angel, bombing the statue will spawn a super hostile fallen angel, defeating him will drop a random. That's kind of interesting, but for now, that's not for me. I think we're pretty happy with our lot in life right now. Thank you for killing yourselves. Okay, here's our magic skin room. The screw for two broken hearts. I actually think that's quite worthwhile. Goddamn brimstone bombs can be so good sometimes. That was not a very good brimstone bomb, I will say. Oh, the recoil on this guy. Dude, the recoil, stop. <laughs> I keep bouncing him into myself. Just bad gameplay. Okay. Top in here. Oh, that's also so good. Yes. Our health is now very dire. But... And I, I can't use magic skin at this time. But... A tier rate up and a damage up. Pretty standard, but both very good. I will check what my item is regardless. I know I can't take it, but... You watch it be like something god tier. But yeah, now I've got a lot less wiggle room when it comes to devil deals and so on. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Okay, let's go, let's go. I mean, actually, I should just grab this. Give me the black hearts. Right, still haven't found our item room. This is, yeah, this is quite, quite the predicament we found ourselves in here, but I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> I love playing this character super risky. It's just, it's it's how this should be played. It's This character is the definition of risk reward. Gotta strictly adhere to those rules. You have to play this character with super low HP, taking every risk possible. It's the only way. Oh, that would that would demolish us. I think that would be our life over if we took any of either of those. Although I would love to grab Kernhead. Wow, the money is just coming hot and heavy right now. It's actually kind of ridiculous how much money the game is throwing our way. It's, it's kind of been the entire run as well. It just, it's been giving us it the whole time. That is a nice card there. Spawns two batteries. Yeah, do you know what? Spawns two batteries actually are, are worth carrying. Something worth carrying. Yeah, I do wish Magic Skin didn't work the way it did where it takes health off you when you use it. it it's, it's, it's kind of balanced, but it's also kind of BS. <laughs> it is kind of annoying. Like, why can't you just work, like, everything else that gives you broken hearts and not give me damage taken? Dude, that bomb slithered its way right up my ass. That was horrible. Taking this. I'm taking this. Right, let's go. Back, back, back to the boss. Back to the boss. Back to the boss. I'll, I'll go with Ragmega. He's annoying, but a good bomb can uh, kill him very quickly. There you go. Sack Dagger. Th this is just futile entering here. Oh my lord. You annihilated yourself, you goober. 
I actually think all stats up while there's a curse. Kind of interesting. Okay, so yeah, just grab this and then go one, two. You may be wondering, tell the fuck did you just do? Well, well, my sweet chili baby, I. I press spacebar instead of Q. So we're just going to quickly rewind. <laughs> just a little rewind. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, my devil deal now isn't open. Excuse me? Devil deal? Hello? Hello? One moment. One moment, please. Okay, and we are back. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's not make that mistake again. So, grab this. Do that once. That twice. And this time, press Q. <laughs> God damn. Shall I go for one more? I'll go for one more. And I was trying to, to smelt this, by the way, if you were wondering why I was doing what I was doing there. Right, now don't press space and leave the room. By the way, I spawned myself in the back because I couldn't bring that card in with me. So that card is effectively doesn't exist. Anyways, down we go. Some of you may, may think, hey, turtle, that's cheating. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I do this series for fun. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I made a dumb mistake and pressed the wrong button. I am completely and utterly fine with my... I can live with myself that I cheated that back in because I pressed the wrong button. I'm, I am A-okay with that. If I die, I die, but that was a death that shouldn't have happened. I mean, it was entirely my fault. Like, there is no discounting that that was an, not an error of anything other than my own stupidity. But I'm going to say I, I can correct my own stupidity. If I die to an enemy, I die to an enemy, but if I die to that, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, this is, this is not an easy room. I'm like, sort of fighting my way through this room and I'm like, wait a minute. This room's difficult. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. We got through it, but. Also, you almost telefragged me with a spider there. Right, when this is ready, press Q. Don't press anything else, press Q. We need a familiar. Grab. Should be able to get ourselves a decent amount of soul hearts here. You see? It all works out. This is working out extraordinarily well. There you go. Back to full HP. Might not have been expecting me to get there that quickly, but the shop is a wonderful thing. This is why restock machines are dumb. <laughs> uh, let's do the boss first. I don't think we popped Satanic Bible. I'm just going to fight Loki here. I don't think... We wow, that hitbox was very generous. It did not hit Loki at all. It was like, yep, that's a hit. Uh, tier Multiplier. Um, one Soul Heart. Yeah, Tier Multiplier is pretty interesting. I mean, it didn't give us that much tears, but for, for quad shot, a triple shot, should I say, it's actually pretty decent. And we get some uh, some wisps too, which is rather nice. Oh my god, these things. Them damn enemies are crazy. But I think we've reached we've reached a point at which we've got quite a lot of power. I still think we're in the risky zone, and I still want a familiar to work with our trinkets at the minute. It's just spawning Sister Maggie's and stuff. Um, but otherwise... Ooh, we should take that penny, because we're one off an item. Uh, otherwise, I'm pretty damn happy with how this is going. Ooh, my lord. Ow, I didn't see that guy coming. And our item room holds for us. Do you know what? Knockout drops is pretty good too. I've once again taken way too many items here, but... Oh, do you, do you know what? I just took knockout drops and I'm like, yeah, they're good. And then I've just realized that we have 
minus 6.66 luck. I mean, we're still firing them because there's like a base chance, but it's not going to be that often. Really? You give me the quarter? I'm not taking it. I can't take it. It's impossible. Teleports you to a boss room, doubles the boss clear award, also doubles the bosses. Interesting prospect. I think we can try it out. The Emperor. Ugh. You didn't tell me that... Ugh. Really? It just gives me Vanishing Twin. Okay. That wasn't clear at all. I don't know. Was that was that me reading that wrong? I thought it was like the um, Reverse Emperor. Where it'd take me to a new boss room with two bosses. Not just the boss room that's on this floor. Does that mean that I have Vanishing Twin until my next boss now? Also, does that mean this is going to work with the, um... Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Issue. That cracked D20 is not correct. And you may be wondering, what the hell do you mean that it's not correct? I have a mod on that uh, resprites them. And for some reason, it's not respriting them. So I'm going to have to look into that. I'm going to have to look into that. Um... Yeah, that's that's a bit of a shame. I'll see, I'll see. I'm sure I'll be fine. Right, let's get gone. I want to see how Vanishing Twin ends up working out here. Because he's following me around. But is he going to follow me around through to the next floor? Is Because if, if that works, that's fine by me. But I don't think that's how it's going to work, right? It most certainly is how it works. I just have a vanishing twin now. Okay, bunnies are doing their thing. Oh, there's some diddy but This is... T We've got a massive bunny, some diddy bunnies. There's all sorts of shenanigans going down right now. Free lemonade. Again, god damn you game. Stop giving me so many active items. That was satisfying as all hell. Wow, you got demolished by that. Horf. Horf. We can pop this now, actually, I just realized. Okay. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's okay. We only lost half a heart. I'm kind of getting through. It's a little precarious, but we're getting there. And the game's not really lagging at all, which is really nice. It's a little precarious, but I'm mostly okay. I don't know. I have to say, I'm feeling a bit off today. I don't know. What, I don't know quite know what it is. Oh, that guy does full heart damage, and I just walked right into him. I don't quite know what it is, but I don't know. I just don't, dude. I've, I, do you know? I was saying, and I think it was the last episode that I have just like over these past few weeks, just not been good at Isaac, like at all. And I, I, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm kind of autopiloting too much, maybe. I think I'm just, like, assuming that I'm going to be good enough to just get through everything, so I'm not really trying very hard, and it's just getting me screwed over, even if I'm not, like, actively doing that. Like, dude, th the game has far too many active items. It's ridiculous. Okay, good. That Brimstone Bomb didn't actually do much, and I got slapped by that fat hand of hers. Come on, stick... Stick a bit out. There you go. You get a Soul Heart here. We're going this way. I forget what this Red Skull does. Three broken hearts, damaging an enemy will send out a tear that Herm's on. The tear will deal. Hmm. Hmm. I am almost certain that will kill us if we take it. Goat head too. I'm gonna try it. 
Okay, it didn't kill us, but it got very close. Um, how does this work? If I respawn as him, I'll just, I'll just respawn as him with full broken hearts. Anyways, let's let's take our leave here. This has been precarious, to say the least. Precarious indeed. Um, one moment, one moment. I should to pause real quick. Right, let's keep her going. Okay, so we we do have a bit of health left over here. I I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to die. I, I've played this in what can only be described as an incredibly risky way. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 that's cool. That item. It's a bit saucy. Like, taking it's a bit risky, but that's really cool. Basically, when we hit enemies, we create more, more tears, but those tears home. When you've got low fire rate, this is like a top tier pickup. Oh, this is this is awesome. They seem to be piercing too. This is a really fun item. Definitely quite strong, but obviously it does ask quite a lot of you to pick it up. It's three broken hearts. Obviously, as this character, it's even more risky, but generally it would just be quite risky anyways. Very, very cool. This is another item from um, Blazy's pack. By the way, tons of people have, have asked me before, where on earth are all these items coming from, from the um, Something Wicked pack? It's just a, it's an unreleased pack that my friend has been working on for a really long time. It will eventually be released, uh, but they're trying to get it into a state that they're happy with it. So far, it's it's come a long way, and it's, it's very, very good. They've been adding stuff, and they're going to release it in, like, two halves, um, I think. If I remember correctly, it's going to be like two separate mods. Um, so just keep looking out for it. And I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to mention it in a video once it's fully released as well. Because it deserves the attention. Dude, just pop your head up or die. Thank you. Right. I'm a just very, very cautious about my current HP. Oh, my God. Two of them now. This one's got to be close to dead, right? Yeah, there you go. That penetration up mod is like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing. Excuse me. Oh, my God. The eyes. I can't. The eyes block all the shots. I can't get to him. I've never had such a problem with those enemies. God damn. This is a... This is a room. I don't know what I've killed so far, but I'm definitely worried. Look at that. Look at the amount of extra tears we're firing right now. And they're home. It's, it's just... It's awesome. I love the way they come out of your, uh, your body as well. They like come out at either side. And then home in. It looks really cool. Wap, 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 wap. Oh, that hit me. It's okay, it's okay. As long as we have a satanic Bible charge, like, backing us up, we should be fine. Obviously, for the boss, we're not going to have one now. But, I think we should be mostly fine on the boss, I'll be honest. Like, with all the setup we got going on here, we should be mostly fine. Also, we do have brimstone bombs to help us, too. So, Vanishing Twist... Okay, that's very interesting to note. Basically, if you get one of those cards, you just use it whenever, <laughs> and it doesn't matter. It's always going to be valuable. Okay, that was close. Oh, there's some good shit there, but there's no way we can take it, unfortunately, without dying. That is... That would be mega for us right now. <laughs> oh, God. So, we are one hit from death. Just one hit away. Oh, no, no. One hit away. Oh, that is lovely. Because now we're no longer one hit away. I can't even sing my song anymore. It's not relevant. Dude, one hit away. <laughs> instantly, instantly brought back down. It was like, no. I'm not going to let you feel good about yourself. I'm not going to let you feel safe. That's baloney. 
I don't really know how to best deal with this guy with all these skulls going about. Like that, I guess. Okay, one more room and we're back to safety. Also, oh wait, no, I was like, let's play this guy out for HP, but it, technically it won't even give us HP because it'll cost a broken heart, so. Right, back to safety. These damn enemies. Absolute pain, aren't they? Oh my god. This item. You just get up in an enemy's face and it just barrages them with tears. It's awesome. All future falls come. I don't know why you'd ever want that. It's kind of an interesting trinket, I suppose. But yeah, from my from my point of view, I'm like, I'm I'm basically never taking that. Excel flaws are just bad. You miss out on so much. I suppose for speedrunning it may be useful, but I don't think many people are speedrunning with mods enabled, so it's kind of like I don't really see where the use case is there. But I guess that's kind of the point of some trinkets. It's meant to be some trinkets that aren't really that good or are incredibly niche. I think that's kind of like part of the charm of trinkets really it kind of it opens up this design space of not having to make an item particularly good or useful you can just kind of make items that you could potentially think are interesting so i get it i accept it oh this is we are just demolishing right now makes me feel so much safer <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go with the regular heart, because I think the regular heart is easier. I'm not actually sure, you know. I don't actually know the difference, I'll be honest. But this one is the one that you fight before the other one, so I'm going to assume that means it's easier. Also, I think the brimstone... Yeah, the brimstone just summons a bunch of extra tears. That's, that's really good. I don't know, was that easier? It kind of seemed to be a little easier. Seemed to be. Twisted pair. Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> hmm. Can can I take twisted pair here? Right, if I pop if I pop this. It will give me three broken hearts and take away one heart. I think that will kill me. What if I do this? Okay. Now it won't kill me. I don't know. Not a great idea, but... <laughs> huzzah, huzzah. I think that kind of worked out. I'm just thinking, this item, it's like on tier hit. So, therefore, the more tiers we hit, the more shots it summons, right? So, Twisted Pair is like really heckin' good. I mean, Twisted Pair is really heckin' good regardless. But that elevates it, right? What's going on with this hand? Why is it not dropping where I am? Okay, it is now. Um, yeah, it kind of elevates it a little bit. Oh, also, also, didn't think about this. My trinket, also, yeah, I just have Vanishing Twin permanently now. My trinket, as you can see, duplicates my familiar sometimes, so I get extra twisted pairs. Look at this, we got double twisted pair here. Did not think about that interaction. Fantastic interaction. And because it's golden, it happens more than 50% of the time. Beautiful synergy. Beautiful synergy. Pop that real quick. Don't need it, but... Yeah, so basically almost every single room, we get an extra twisted pair. Like, not, not every single one, as you can see, this one didn't. But a lot of rooms are going to give us an extra twisted pair. Be a little careful here. There you go. We're good, we're good. Back up to three hearts where we're meant to be. Okay, Isaac could be a challenge. Please give us an extra twisted pair for Isaac. You didn't. Bitch game. 
I mean, I'm still very happy with what we've got going on. But you could have slung one our way. That was a very bad bomb. Honestly, the knockout drops, even with a very low look that we have, are performing. They're doing a very good job. Damn it, I just stood there with that. I just stood there. But, oh, that's him dead. Unlocked Goodwill Tag. Sinus infection would be pretty top tier. Do you know what? It's dangerous as all hell, but I feel like I have to. Already walked directly into an enemy and put my life at risk. Good. Holy shit. Okay, sinus infection is broken. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you realize what's going on, but every tick of damage that sinus infection in uh, inflicts fires a tear from, uh, from that item. Which means that we get a bajillion tears. Definitely not intentional, but definitely, definitely delicious. Yeah, as soon as we get a sinus infection tier, we just get this stream. Oh, that's delicious. That is delicious. Oh, it doesn't even care about boss damage cap or nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to tell Blazy about that one. That is a doozy of a bug. <laughs> I wonder if there's any other items that trigger this bug. I wonder if it's just, um, if it's just bugger tears. <laughs> the knockout drops are so good for just getting enemies to, like, fuck up out the way. Oh my god, isn't Cage meant to have boss armor? <laughs> like, once I get a tear stuck, I literally don't even have to fire anymore. This is gonna be kinda hard to not get hit, though. I will, I will admit, this isn't a free win. Like, we're killing the uh, blue baby very quickly here, but a few rogue shots and homing shots is all it takes to ruin my day. But that did not happen. Very nice. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A fun little run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.